I don't know why they're doing this, but they are. But Apple just announced that they plan to bring RCS, or better known as uh, Rich Communication Services, to iPhone users in 2024. So maybe we'll see this with iOS 18. Now, the way I look at it, I feel like this move from Apple is really going to revolutionize messaging. It sounds weird saying that with so many messages services, but I, I do feel like it's, it's just going to make it more seamless uh, between Android and iPhone users, in my opinion. So what does this actually mean for you, the Android user? Well, you can finally, and I say finally enjoy all the features that were previously exclusive to iMessage, like re-receipts, high quality, uh, videos and, and pictures, um, group chat. Group chat is a big one if you've ever been kicked out of a group chat because you're a green bubble. And I'm sure there's gonna be much, much more that Android users are gonna be able to take advantage of now that Apple will be supporting RCS next year. So this means no more limitations or degrading experiences when messaging across platforms. Hey, listen, before we move on, just wanna say welcome to QC Dads, the channel where we look at tech, from a dad's unbiased viewpoint. Now, with that out the way, currently uh, the SMS and the MMS protocol, it actually causes compatibility issues between Android and iPhone users resulting in low quality messages. All right, so let me see if I can break it down for you. RCS actually operates over the internet, just like iMessage. And I think it's really gonna just bridge the gap to ensure that when your friends or your family are texting you, uh, it's just like a consistent level of quality. So no more fuzzy pictures. Even in the situations where the person who is texting you or sending you a picture doesn't have a cellular connection, um, they might just be on Wi-Fi. All right, so here's the kicker. iMessage encryption and security will not be compromised when they add RCS support next year. Uh, from what, what Apple was saying that RCS is just going to complement iMessage and that's pretty much it. It's not replacing iMessage. So iMessage will maintain that trusted security, which is so huge. First thing I thought about when I heard this message, I thought, you know what, does the, does the green bubble going away? And nope, the green bubble is going to live on. Uh, it sounds like Apple wants to ensure uh, that uh, its users know the difference between someone sending them a message from an iPhone or from a Android device. Now, I think the shift to RCS for Apple, I think is really going to benefit everyone and just really improve that overall experience when it comes to messaging for everyone involved. I think it's really going to put some strain on all these third party apps like the WhatsApp and, you know, maybe Instagram messaging, Twitter. Uh, I think the experience is just going to be so much better. And I'm really happy that Apple is making this change. One thing that I will say I am curious about, since I have a lot of Apple devices, I'm just curious to see how things will change on my Mac versus on my iPad. Uh, I, I'm guessing it's not going to change too much, but I do wonder how this is really going to, you know, kind of reshape our communication habits. I really think this move is a step in the right direction for universal messaging across, I would say, Android, any, any new phone that comes down the road. I, I think it just breaks any barriers that existed, particularly between iPhone users and Android users. I feel like this is definitely a game changer when it comes to cross platform communication. Uh, I am, I don't know, I'm thrilled um, with this shift and I really just wanna hear your thoughts um, about this uh, change that Apple is making to RCS. Um, so go ahead and leave your comments below. Tell me what you think. Are you excited about this? Do you not care? I, I just want to know so we can continue this conversation in the comment section. Otherwise, um, we'll catch you in the next one. Uh, stay tuned and most importantly, stay subscribed to QC Dads. Later.